guys, this is Ms. Barrera coming to you today uh, with Newton's Laws of Motion, and I want to show you how these laws of motion work using a Rube Goldberg machine. First, what are Newton's Laws of Motion? Well, there are rules that kind of govern how everything in the universe works. Um, the first law of motion states that every object lies at a state of rest unless it's acted upon by an external force. What's an external force? It's a push or pull done by something outside of the object itself and it can also count for gravity. The second law of motion states that the acceleration of a body is proportional to the acting force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. What does that mean? It means that something that has less mass is going to move less, uh, less quickly than something with more mass. So if I put the same force on both of these objects, um, they're going to move at a different rate because of how much space they occupy. This ball is hollow and this is full, so they have different mass. The third law of motion states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. What that simply means is when I toss the ball in the air, the ball also pushes back on the object of force. If you're, um, let's say that you're on an ice skating rink with a friend and you're both wearing ice skates, and you push each other, doesn't matter who pushes each other, you're both going to be pushed away from the central, central part of force. So I want you to keep this law in mind when we're using our, gold, our Rube Goldberg. Last but not least, we have gravity. The law of gravity states that force increases with mass, that means the more mass, the more force, and it decreases with distance. So if I wanted to roll the onion, and the tennis ball down a uh, bowling alley, the onion, because it has more mass, will go farther than the tennis ball. Let's look at this Rube Goldberg machine. What is a Rube Goldberg machine? A Rube Goldberg machine is a complex machine that performs a simple task. In this case, we're going to ask the Rube Goldberg machine to push open the door for us. And we're gonna test out the tennis ball and the onion to see which one of these creates more, the most force that can push the store open. So let's go ahead and start with our first rule. I'm gonna go ahead and move the apple out of the way. The first rule is that we have a tennis ball and it's lying at rest. I'm gonna go ahead and exert some motion into it and get it going so that gravity can take over. Get it onto my track. Ah. Now you see, it did not immediately knock over the book, but the book had its, enough of its own force and was pulled down by gravity and eventually was able to push my door open. Let's try this with the onion. Okay. Remember, this onion is gonna have, it has more mass, so it has the ability to project more force. Let's fix our book dominoes over here before we continue. Okay, I do recommend using hardcover books instead of soft cover books. They just hold up better. Okay, let's leave that unlatched but ready to be pushed open and let's see how our onion performs on this test. Oh and you see that that accelerated at a much quicker rate because it has more mass and it was able to push your door open much faster. So that's Newton's three laws of motion. I hope that it helped you understand how those laws of motion govern everything in our world. And I hope that you feel inspired to create your own Rube Goldberg. And remember, if you do decide to make a Rube Goldberg machine, please send us a video so that we can share it on the Spitalny Class Dojo page. Okay, happy science!